So I've got a uh, 85 Mongoose all-terrain bicycle. So they call it the Mongoose ATV. It's a 15 speed. Just getting ready to strip it. And we're going to convert it to just a 5 speed cruiser. Going to take the triple crank off, put a single speed on it, or single chain ring in the front. Retain the, the rear derailleur. Going to retain the cantilever brakes. The bars aren't correct for this. Uh, the correct bars are an SR. Um, I think it's a ST110 was a slingshot stem and a straight bar. I actually have a set of those. I don't know if I took a picture of them or not. Put it on. And we'll use the same lever, same type shifter. And we'll clean up the frame. And I uh, have to swap the wheel set out. The uh, Pro Class style wheels that came on these are uh, the spokes. Uh, I've had three sets of these, and uh, the spokes are always uh, rusted. So they, they use some cheap spoke when they build them. Uh, the factory did. So I have another uh, set of uh, nice high flange. 26 inch uh, wheels that I'll use. SR hubs, I believe, and then the uh, Araya 7X. So we're just going to get everything stripped off, cleaned up, and we'll start reassembly. So we're using a uh, mother's and a little bit of steel wool brush in some areas. I just uh, make sure to get all the rust off. This frame was actually pretty clean. There was only a little couple of areas that needed some attention. Always underneath the chain stays up by the seat post. Um, around the cranks, surprisingly, there wasn't a big issue. All right, so the end result, everything looks real good on it. The fork turned out real nice. And when you flip it over, you'll see that the chain stays. The, rear, the, the bottom ones are actually crushed. So I got a little overzealous with a kickstand bracket. Now we're starting a reassembly. Original headset's being used. It's actually stomp, uh, stamped mongoose. Using the uh, Avocet seat on it. Had to get another seat post because there wasn't one available. Chose the uh, bull nose bars on it instead of the slingshot stem. Same reach on it and the same height. It's pretty much identical. Shifter is a little bit different, but it's still a Sun Tour. That's original Sun Tour uh, quick release seat. Post uh, clamp. The fluted seat post is a uh, correct air, but uh, the original one was missing. The rear derailleur, actually, uh, this one I'm installing now. After I set the rear derailleur or set the uh, the cable on, I found this one in the strip, so I found another Montec Sun Tour that I had saved. Original die comps are going on there.
we're setting the cantilever brakes. Just showing uh, this is a directional pad. So you just want to see the arrow that's going to face. Arrow is going to be in the direction of the tire. And you want the front shoe to hit first. This one takes a 5 millimeter and a 10 millimeter. 5 millimeter Allen and a 10 millimeter. And you just want to start, set the toe and put it flat against the rim. These are easy to set because the spring, you can unset it. The tension isn't on it. So you can push it right against the rim and get it right on there. And the cable's real easy on these to set. This one has a actual pulley on the hanger. And since you take the tension off the, uh, the brake uh, levers themselves, the brake, um, the cantilever brakes, it's easy to set the, uh, the cable. So here's a crank and a chain that I want to use, a chain ring. There's the grips. So we're going with a modern two-piece crank. These are by Mission, 19 millimeter, and then the 39 tooth snowflake sprocket. Here I'm setting the uh, bushing in the middle, the spacer. I dry fit everything, snug up the caps, the bearings themselves, make sure they're not too tight. So a lot of times you have to adjust those. And I'm using some anti-seize, you got aluminum caps going in that steel frame. So I'll make sure I can take them off if I ever have to repair it. All right, the Mongoose ATB is done. We went from a 15 speed, we took it down to a five speed. Always want to use one of these snowflake from pork, pork chop, a 39 tooth front sprocket. Went with a modern tubular two piece crank. And we kept the Retain the same derailleur, Montec, Suntour, and the same gearing on the back, just a five speed. Cantilever brakes, have a set seat. Oh, the bull nose bars, Diacomp levers matching the Diacomp cantilever brakes, Suntour, 
shifter, the original wheel set, had to replace it. Spokes are always toasted on those Pro Class for some reason. They just never chose to put a nice spoke in them. They're not stainless steel, they're steel. Crank turned out real nice. Got some Bear Trap KKTs. These are RMTs. Everything on here is pretty vintage, 80s, except the crank set and sprocket. Real pleased with it. It is a 22 inch frame. Every now and then you see these come up on Craigslist, offer up. People think they're worth a lot of money, but I mean, if you can find one in great shape, the chrome and an original fork, that's the, the key. This forged crown is really nice. Find an original fork and, and frame set if the chrome hasn't failed. They're worth picking up and doing something with. This is my, uh, I think this is my third one I've gotten. Okay, thanks for watching. I want to thank Jack, my son, again for helping me put the video together.